Um, this creep, this ZZ plant, just um, needs to be transferred because plant care is very important during um, your work with plants. Making sure you take good care of the plant while you're working with the plant is extremely important. And she's taking really well. She's doing a great job with this plant. Look at this beautiful. Look at that root. Look at that root. Girl, look at that. <laughs> That right there is a sign that you need to transfer it to a bigger pot, but look how beautiful that is. Gorgeous. Oh my god, this is ready to transfer to another plant pot. Um, this pot right here, if you remove this from here and you add more soil, will be a little bit bigger, but you need to go to like one that's like a size bigger than this. Yeah. Like, a little bit wider. Yeah, I, I think I'll do that one too. Yeah. This one, she is almost ready for that. True. Sure. Yeah. Well, I just want to get it just in case. Yeah. You know. And like this one can transfer from this one into this one, and this one can transfer into a bigger, wider. Mm -hmm. It has a nice scent coming from it. This ZZ plant kind of smells like sweet. It smells sweet. She smells sweet. Oh my gosh. She <laughs> smells so sweet. Like. Kind of like a crisp apple. Yeah, crisp apple. I like that. I'm going to name you Apple because you are adorable. Oh, this one's got a bend on it, so yeah. This one is going to be the one that you want to look out for right here, this stem right here. Um, and there's some, yeah, it does need to be transferred. Okay, so um, about plant magic. Yes. Anything else you want to? Um, also, when working with um, your plants, there is a huge amount of respect here. Mm -hmm. If your if your um, spell isn't working on your time, mm -hmm. um, that doesn't mean you turn around and you hate the plant for it. It's not the plant's fault. See, it takes time for these magic spells to work and grow as the plant grows. Like, if you got a brand new plant and you just cast a spell and you expect it to work the next day, that is not going to happen. You have to have patience. You have to have patience, yes. Mm -hmm. Because patience is a huge part of witchcraft. Exactly. And um, I'm getting this message right now as I'm doing this. It's like it's a huge part of witchcraft and you don't use it very often. I'm getting told <laughs> that I'm not very patient. It's true. I'm not very patient when it comes to my magic spells. Because like I expect them to work right away too. Because like I'm like that. I'm weird. You always have to have patience. Mm. And sometimes it's okay to give the plants a little treat every so often. Um, by that, I mean carbonated water. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of carbonated water, um, not a lot, but a, like um, probably about this much worth of the carbonated water. You see right here, mm -hmm. this much worth of carbonated water. Yeah. Um, Every every four months, do that. It acts like a it acts like a fertilizer, and it helps them grow a little more. Make sure though that it's not freezing cold when you give it to them. Make sure that it's lukewarm, because sometimes people put cold as hell water in their roots, and it so can stun the plant. It can hurt the plant. Water in a refrigerator. Put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Yes, for about 30 seconds, uh -huh. like BB does, um, because otherwise you are hurting your plant and it's not okay. Because if you hurt your plant, your plant's not going to like you very much. <laughs> it's true. You are such a beautiful girl. I'm sorry I ripped off your leaf a second ago, but it was a dead one and it was going to hurt you. See? Respect. And I got stung earlier by a bee, too, so... We'll talk about bees during the magic practices too in the next video. <laughs> Alright, so this concludes our video for right now. 
Thank you for watching the Temple of Light channel. I'm Moon Lily, your High Priestess, and like, subscribe, and comment and share our channel. See you beautiful people later. Have a great one. Blessed be.